Hi, this is Glendon Mello of glendonmello.com and the flying trilobite at glendonmello.blogspot.com. And this is my first ever screencast, and I'm going to do a quick little demo in Art Rage 3, uh, Art Rage Studio Pro. And um, I'm going to show how I made a, a preset that mimics compressed charcoal. Um, so I've set up a paper here for the background. Um, this is Art Rage, and uh, a quick introduction. All the tools are down here in the left hand corner on this palette. Uh, you've got oil brushes, watercolors, palette knife, airbrush, technical pens, crazy things like glitter. Um, and uh, on the other side, you've got your colors. You can increase how metallic they are. Um, you can, uh, you know, float around, look for whatever color you need. Um, one of the things that attracted me to Art Rage initially, um, in the earlier version of Art Rage 2.5, was that this program has everything that uh, I need right in front of me. Just like when I'm working with traditional oil paint, I can just dab at my palette, pick up another brush, and, and get started. And uh, this is the same. I don't have to monkey around with drop-down menus. Um, let's take a look here at setting up your paper first. So. If you want to do a new painting, say don't save there, you can uh, pick what type of surface you want, basic canvas, sketch paper, tiny grain, there's all sorts of strange ones, uh, candy wrapper, and so on. Um, let's just use a, a basic, uh, let's make it a, hmm, maybe a bit of a, a tiny grain paper, let's use, let's use that. And I'm not going to worry too much about the resolution and things just for the screencast. So. All right, so under the pencils, you know, you can just, oops, I think I've already got it picked on a particular one there. Let's see. There's a number of presets that are already loaded in. Um, and just to show here, there's a, the hard shader. So you can see you can build up some convincing graphite with that. Soft tip pencil, regular sketching. And I'm using this on an Intuos 3 tablet, so it's it's uh, pressure sensitive so I can go really light like I am right now or you can get increasingly dark and then so it's quite handy um, alright so let's take a look at how I made something that looked a bit like charcoal um, this is the chalk let's use a nice bright color maybe and uh, there's the chalk there pretty good on its own if I use it in black it's just look a lot like compressed charcoal as well. Um, what I did though instead was I went to the pencils and I went to the preset, the hard shader, and I increased the size of it quite a bit. Let's move it up to 86 there, or 100. There we go, it's nice and big. And um, then using the settings, you can see it's typical settings the pressure's at 50, softness 0, tilt angle 100. By lowering the tilt angle, increasing the pressure and increasing the softness um, then I managed to make it look like this I might increase the tilt angle a little bit I think I might have had it part of the way up yeah just to get a little and you can see I'm pressing lightly right now and you can see how the strokes or the dots even I can get really light if I'm careful with it the uh, the strokes seem to have a bit of a smudge coming off the, the end of them. And you can press really hard, really scribble on there, get a nice line going. And that's it. And now to save it, what you do is you go to New Preset. See on the, the little presets here? There's all the ones that comes with in Art Rage when you buy it. And then you go to New Preset, and then you save it. And you say, Compressed charcoal example, we'll call it. And I'm going to save it under G's pencils, so I know it's under my, my own ones that I've made there. Maybe sort of a little list of favorites. Um, you can see I've tried a couple of other examples of the screencast ahead of time, so here we go, there's the one we wanted. And I can just access it any time under the pencil menu. And that's it. And that's my first screencast. Going out there for, for German. Hope that was helpful.